Hello class, welcome back to Statistics and Mathematics YouTube channel. My name is Ernesto Moasechim. The last video we treated something on Greek Latin square design. Today we are going to start our studies on balance incomplete block designs. Right? And then for balance incomplete block design, I'm going to tap the idea from randomized block design. And then for randomized block design, we may want to uh, be able to run all treatment in each block, right? Of which we, we cannot do so, right? Because of some situation like um, shortage of what experimental apparatus uh, or physical size of what the block, right? So when it comes this way, we introduce ourselves to a balanced incomplete block what design. We are saying that for the balanced incomplete block design, it's an incomplete block design in which any two treatments appear together um, an equal number of what times, right? So when it comes this way, uh, this balanced incomplete block design is what used. So uh, before one can be able to use the balance in complete block design, one has to understand the Saskar model for the design. This is the Saskar model as you can see on the screen, right? So for the YIJ that you can see here is what? The height of the basin or the J block, right? And then this one, you see, we have a similar example for the 4x4 balancing complete block design. And here, as you can see here, right? As you can see here, the YIJ is the height observation the j block right so that's the observation that you can see here right and then the tie i is what the effect of what the i treatment right that's the effect of what the i right treatment so that's the tie i and then bj is what the effect of the j block right and then the error the e i j is what the error term right so as i said this is what a typical example for the balancing complete block what is that so in our class we are going to use the a as what treatment and b as what block so the A as treatment and B as block is not the letters that you can see here. This one is just uh, letters that are used to demonstrate a balancing complete block for you guys, right? So the A is used to represent treatment in our class and the B is also used to represent what block in our class. We will assume that each block contains K treatment, right? That's what we are going to assume here, that each block, right, contain what K what treatment and then each treatment occur R times in what in the design. So when we come here, uh, we see we have a, a block, right? And we are saying that each block that we can see assume a specific number of our treatments, right? And the R2 of K in what? Um, the treatment of K is R times in what? A design. And then for the total observation N, right? We say that our total observation N is equal to A times R pre or B, uh, you can use A times R or B times what? K. All of them is going to give you a, a specific, all of them is going to give you the same answer, right? But the A here is what? The treatment, the R here is the treatment, number of time treatment occur in the design, and the B here is the block, and the K here is what? Um, the K here is what? The block, uh, sorry, the K here is what? The block, uh, the number of treatment that is contained in a certain what block, right? So that is for, that is for the case. Once you multiply them together, you are going to get uh, our N, right? So, um, we have some lambda here that I have to explain to you because you are going to use this lambda to find our sum of square treatment adjust, right? So the lambda, as you can see, is the number of times each pair of treatment appears in a block, right? That's the lambda. So it's equal to R bracket open K minus 1 divided by A minus what? 1. So um, the A here, as you can see, is the treatment. The K is the number of treatment in a, set, in a block. The number of, in the, in the R is the number of time a treatment occur in a design right so i don't believe this is how the, the the lambda look like right and then we are going to solve example for you guys to really appreciate what we are doing here and then the a as you can see here it said if a is equal to b right the design is said to be asymmetric it means that the number of uh the, the number of blocks right is equal to the number of our treatment right so what you have you have here is a similar example right it's what symmetric what design because the number of blocks um is surely equal to the number of what treatment right so we have a classical analysis of what the balance incomplete block design because one before one can be able to construct um another table for balance incomplete block design one has to be able to i mean know the sum of square total the sum of square treatment adjust sum of square block and the sum of square error right once you know this one you constructing the uh, the uh, ANOVA table for uh, balance incomplete block design is very, very simple, right? So, for example, incomplete block design, we just assume just what I have said. So, let's go straight to what the formula is, right? So, at the end of the day, we have our sum of square total, right? But before we can explain this formula, I just want us to understand some of the 
uh, symbols and letters that you can see around, right? So the Y I J is what the individual observation in the design. So the individual observation in the design is this one: the E, the D, A, D, D, C, and the rest, right? That is what the individual has designs that we can see in what in in the in the individual design that we can see. And then the Y dot J is the summation of an individual block, right? So when we come here. The y dot a is the summation of the individual block that we, we have. This one. These are the blocks, individual blocks that we have, right? Just sum them. That one give us the y dot g, right? And then um 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 the that's the y dot a, right? And the next one is what um y dot dot, right? So the y dot dot is the summation of an individual observation. So when we come here. This one is what this the summation of what the individual observation, right? And then um, the the y i dot is what the summation of what the individual treatment. So when we come here, I'm just going to sum what the individual treatment, right? That's what for the y i dot, right? Summation of what the individual treatment. So once you know this one, you understand it. What the ANOVA this thing is very very simple. So here, this is the sum of square total, right? The sum of square total. Since we are summing on what both blocks and treatment, we are going to use two sum um, two summations, right? So here, I am going to sum summation um, two summation of y y dot j. So we are going to add all the observation that we have in the table minus what um, the the sorry here is square. I'm very sorry. Yes, here is square. So. So as I said, here is square, right? I'm sorry, I've confirmed, and then it's a mistake. Sorry. So here was square summation of what y i j square, right? So we are going to square this one. I'm just going to square the individual observation. Once you are squaring the individual observation, then you'll be adding, right? But this one is just going to add everything. After adding, then you square, right? So that is how the y subscript i j and y dot dot behaves, right? Uh -huh. So once you do you 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 do this summation, you are going to get our sum of square to that. And then sum of square um, treatment adjust, right? It's k summation q i square divided by lambda times what k. And I've 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 explained the lambda to you, I've explained the k to you, I've explained the a to you. So what is left with what the q i uh, sorry is a q subscript i. So the q subscript i is what the total adjust um, for uh, for the i treatment, right? So that's the total adjust. So the total adjust formula is this one, right? So I want to the summation of what the individual summation of what the the treatment, right? Subtract so as minus one divided by k summation of i subscript i j times what the individual summation of what the block, right? That is the y dot j, right? Uh -huh. So once you get this one, you come and substitute it into a sum of square treatment adjust, and then at all the day you are good to go. We have sum of square block here. So the sum of square block, as you can see, is 1 divided by k, summation of j is equal to 1, running from 1 to d, d right? And then we are going to square what the individual, um, sorry, we are going to square the individual blocks, right? Summation of the individual blocks, subtracted from the total summation, all square divided by what n, right? And then we have this exp uh, expression here. We have this expression here. Right, and for this expression, you can see that the sum of square total is equal to the sum of square uh, treatment. Uh, sorry, sum of square treatment adjust plus sum of square block plus sum of square what error. Right. So for one to be able to find our sum of square uh, error, we can write this formula for the sum of square error, but it's going to be a waste of time because if you have your sum of square treatment, you have sum of square treat. Uh, sorry, sum of square treatment adjust, sum of square total, and then sum of square block. It's very simple for us to, I mean, find our sum of square error, right? We can find our sum of square error when we make our, um, when we make our sum of square er error the subject, right? So we are making our sum of square error the subject. I'm just going to move this one across the equal sign to have this one, right? As our final answer for you to be able to find our sum of square uh, error. So once we have this, we have to put this one on what ANOVA table so that we will appreciate how things will work out here. So when you come here, we have the source, that's the treatment, block, error, and total, right? And then we have what we call the SS. The SS is the sum of square. For, for the SS, when we come, we have the SS for uh, the treatment adjust, SS for the block, SS for error, and then SS for total. And the DF will be A minus 1, right? The A minus 1 here is what? The treatment, the degrees of freedom for the treatment. So the DF is what? Um, known as what? Treatment. So here is what? Treatment. Um, the SST. 
right the treatment for the sst are just right so that's a minus one so when you come to the block the, uh, the the degrees of freedom is what b minus one and when you come to the arrow the degrees of freedom is n minus a minus b plus one and when you come to the total the degrees of freedom is what capital n minus what one so the capital n as you see um i'm coming the capital n is what is equal to what a times what r or b times what k right we can use either um either way to what, and we get our n right and then the ms the ms that you can see here is just you are dividing the sum of square adjust by what eight degrees of freedom we are going to do for all of them except the sum of square total so once we get the ms then we have to find our f right so our f for our f we are just going to i mean divide the ms for the treatment adjust and the mf for sorry yes and then uh, the ms for the sum of square error right so basically this is how the anova table looks like in um in in uh, balancing complete block design but you can still also add the um the f4 you can also still add the f4 for the block so if you want to add the f for the block, so here will be ms what um, b divided by what um the ms what e that's what the the f what the block right so let's before one can solve this one too they have to set an hypothesis right so this one is for the treatment adjust the hypothesis for the treatment adjust since we are having four treatment right our h naught will be u1 is equal to u2 is equal to u3 is equal to u4 and then h1 here will be ui not equal to right ui not equal to what um, uj for at least one pair right so i don't be the when you compare to they are going to say that their means are not e e equal right for the block two that's the same thing they are having the same number of blocks and then treatment so basically this is how the balance incomplete block design works out right so in our next video we are going to talk about we are going to talk about um how we can use this formulas to solve an example right so um kindly make sure that um, you visit the next video to know how you you use the examples on this formulas to get our ANOVA table. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please kindly subscribe, like, share so that this video too can get to your friends. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day.